The horticulture sector earned Kenya 102 billion shillings in 2016, having grown by 12% despite the uncertainty in the European market. Vegetables alone earned the country 23.4 billion shillings. In 2013, the European laid out more stringent measures on French beans from Kenya after the produce was found containing high levels of dimethoid, a chemical residue in pesticides used by farmers. This move affected local farmers across the country. The EU uh, faced a challenge from uh, countries within Africa and especially so Kenya about uh, use of pesticides uh, on our French beans and uh, snow peas and sugar snap and uh, they threatened to ban produce going from Kenya to EU which are, would have been quite uh, catastrophic for our industry because they're quite a huge foreign exchange earner. Four years down the line, however, stakeholders in the horticultural sector are now keen on adhering to the export standards set by the Global Good Agricultural Practices, Kenya Good Agricultural Practices, Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Services, Traceability Systems, among others. A set of uh, standards which were existing but now they had to be enforced within the industry were put in place to improve how we operate within the export industry in the country. Adherence to high standards is what has kept the French beans exportation business afloat. Afrifresh Horticulture's managing director Davis Kathumbi says keeping up with the competition in the international market has not been easy. As our company Afrifresh, we've put uh, quite some tough measures both at our farm and packhouse level to ensure we meet all the quality and uh, operating standards that are required, both by EU and uh, the local uh, regulators. So we've never had any case where our produce ever, has ever been rejected. According to Gedhumbi, the long value chains in the horticultural sector, as well as the inadequate direct flights from Kenya to other continents, has posed a challenge as far as widening the market share is concerned. Exploration of some new markets is dependent upon uh, the flight patterns and uh, how the logistics within uh, the industry are set up. We are limited into exporting to the Americas, for example, due to lack of direct flights or also to other countries like uh, Russia where we have to do exports to the EU, some EU countries like Netherlands who then re-export to Russia. Being perishable, horticultural produce like French beans need unique storage and packaging to ensure they do not spoil. Poorly stored horticulture can lead up to 2 million shillings loss per shipment. The economic partnership agreement whose signing has been delayed due to concerns raised by Tanzania and Burundi is expected to fully open up the European horticultural markets by offering more options and incentives for Kenyan produce. Our products will be cheaper compared to other countries and we face a competitive advantage since uh, we have quite enjoyed this over time since we were classified as a third world country and uh, our products were cheaper within the EU, which has made us send uh, quite some volumes in comparison to other countries. While the horticulture export market is lucrative, Kadumbi says stakeholders must be keen on early production stages to avoid losses. The highly profitable horticultural business still remains one of the biggest foreign exchange earners for the Kenyan economy. The challenge now remains to keep up with the required standards. Joseph Ngala, Channel 1 Business News.